called 1001 Islamic Inventions, which toured the science museums of the Western world, including... And, and of course, Barack Obama said that the most beautiful sound is the call to prayer, right, of the Hazan. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would say Islam had invented the entire world, not just the... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching for, I'm so glad to have you all oh, yeah. Thank you so much for clicking. I lost count of the numbers of politicians who started in the last 15 years quoting in speeches their favorite bits of the Quran. <laughs> During a recent interview, Douglas Murray and Gad Saad delved into the concept of Islamophilia and Muslim inventions. My book on Islamophilia is not actually currently available, which is rather annoying. Uh, it's uh, undergoing a brief rewrite and a reissue quite soon. But uh, I came up with the term Islamophilia because really, first of all, I've become so bored of hearing what I think of as being its sort of opposite, the word Islamophobia, which had been around for so many years and meant so little, uh, or at least what it did mean was so wrong and so irritatingly wrong. Um, I thought something far more prevalent was um, not a phobia, um, certainly not an irrational fear of Islam, but but a sort of um, a weird uh, love of Islam, not by not by Muslims, but by by non-Muslims. It'd be understandable for Muslims to to love Islam. It was just rather strange that so many people who were not Muslims, and in many cases seemed to know absolutely nothing about Islam, uh, were so enamoured of the religion. And um, I just have been noticing this for a long time. Um, uh, everyone from actors and movie stars to uh, prime ministers and presidents um, who would be critical and understandably and rightly critical of any and all belief systems uh, should they need to be, but who, when it came to Islam, only talked in this sort of slathering of praise and adoration. I mean, uh, I lost count of the numbers of politicians who started in the last 15 years quoting in speeches their favorite bits of the Quran. <laughs> it's the sort of, why did he, why are you and, doing and, that? And of course, Barack Obama said that the most beautiful sound is the call to prayer, right, of the Hazan. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were so many cases of it, and it, to my mind, it seemed far more prevalent and uh, um, obvious than, uh, than, as I say, its opposite. So, um, so no, I, I, my, my favorite, personal favorite is an exhibition called 1001 Islamic Inventions, which toured the science museums of the Western world, including America and uh, Great Britain and other countries. And this exhibition basically uh, advocated, it was totally anti-scientific, really. It was an act of uh, proselytism by the Muslim Brotherhood is how it started out. Um, but uh, this exhibition basically posited that um, Islam had invented the entire world, not just the creation of the world, but everything since um, uh, um, landscape gardening and also urban planning. Um, uh, almost all successes of science, cinema, and it did this amazing sort of Soviet style uh, um, reverse engineering on on history and indeed on facts and and because it but because it was a thousand and one islamic inventions um you know it passed muster i mean if if anyone <laughs> had tried to claim that any other religion had sort of been responsible for absolutely every scientific invention then um then people would raise an eyebrow and certainly wouldn't hand over the science museum uh, uh, in the national capital to such a piece of uh, casuistry but you know, on this occasion they did. And as I said, that, that's an example of Islamophilia right in front of you. I've actually been exposed to this type of thinking in my own scientific work where someone usually from that part of the, the world or at least of that faith will write to me to say, oh, but you know that Charles Darwin is not really the guy who should be most uh, known yeah. for the theory of evolution. And then they'll cite some guy and then through some unbelievably circuitous route of mental gymnastics, the real inventor uh, discover of the theory of evolution as some guide. But I think this is a, a manifestation of identity politics. I mean, you see the same thing with African studies, right? Every single, I mean, right. right? The ancient Greeks were really uh, blacks, right? And and then, so, so ev every single group that feels somehow aggrieved rewrites history so that all of the great wonders of the, of the world are really theirs, right? Yes, and I mean, uh, the, uh, my favorite example was the rewriting of the Wright brothers, uh, uh, where the Wright brothers were wrong, uh, that they didn't invent flight. <laughs> but, but flight was invented by a Muslim in, I think, the 10th century, or in Andalusia or something. And the, and the actual uh, um, historical descriptions of this guy is, is, is there was a guy who, 
who kept on flinging himself off high buildings <laughs> and falling to earth at an incredible speed. Right. Um, or, or just but, ju jumping from any 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 place and committing suicide becomes the invention of flight, right? Yeah, and it, it was it was it was really strange because they they sort of attributed a man who just plummeted a lot. Uh, um, <laughs> they uh, attributed to him the gift of uh, sort of the invention of flight. Um, and as you say, I mean, the, the game is to, to to come up with somebody so obscure that that sort of everyone sort of baffled. And because we're all polite, you know, Westerners, uh, if anyone says that anyone else invented anything, we're like, well, sure, it sounds good. You know, who would I be to right. to produce any counter facts? As we wrap up this insightful discussion on Islamophilia and the perceptions surrounding Islamic inventions. We hope you enjoyed Douglas Murray's humorous take on the topic. Remember to like, comment, and share your thoughts on this video. Okay, so this was just a humorous take. It's nothing serious, so we shouldn't take it too personal. So they are just trying to, you know, catch some moments and talk about the version Islamic made. It's not that they're trying to mock Islam or make jest of Islam. No, they're just, you know, kind of surprise it's just like you have a conversation with your bestie and you guys are just trying to make jest of things and you guys know that it's a serious matter but you're just trying to you know according to the moment you're just trying to catch some fun lively moments that was all so when i first saw the title i thought maybe he made jest of the fact that islamic version maybe it's these it's a lie or this no but it uh, he actually spoke about a muslim man inventing an aeroplane so yes they definitely there's uh invention islamic invented a lot of things but they are just shocked they are amused to the fact that a religion actually invented something you know normally scientists mostly invent things they also spoke about of uh, Barack Obama saying that the most beautiful sound he has ever heard was the call to prayer muslim call to prayer that anytime Muslims are praying, like it has this beautiful sound, peaceful sound, it's like a melody in your heart, like it's something that just gives you that kind of peace and connection, even though you don't understand what they're saying. So they just spoke a lot about Islam and they spoke about Islam, Islamo failure. I've been hearing a lot of Islamo this, Islamo that, Islamo phobia, Islamo failure. This. I don't know how many Islamo that is there because you no, know, mostly people believe that Islamo phobia is those people that have hatred, fear, or they are being ignorant about the religion called Islam. But mostly they spoke more about the invasion and generally what they know about Islam, their take on Islam, and that was a beautiful one. Let me know your point of view about this discussion and let's keep it going. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a real, real VIPs. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.